this. Okay, I go to the practical aspect. This is the computing software logo. You click it, it's open, and uh, this will come out. If a new experiment, you just click new experiment, you recall from the previous experiment you store in a disk or a memory card, you can call it out to do the analysis. So if you have new experiment, now to, to save time, I like to recall, uh, the, recall the old save the data, for example, this particular file, and open it. Okay, it tell you this actually what you put into the computer, the name of experiment, the date, and your description, conditions, and so on, and then enter drug one as a new drug, like the drug one, this uh, fully long, and then you finish, and then you you go to drug two, and uh, you this uh, pharmacy trial, and. Uh, for example, if you enter data wrong, you want to correct, you can create like drug one is error, you can want to edit in, the entire data pop up. This is drug one fully wrong, what you need, abbreviation. All you enter was those effect, those concentration effect, concentration effect. You put in all the data, you have eight data points you put in and then finish. And then if you want to, to delete certain point, just click it and delete, or you want to add new data point, just do like that. And when you finish, just finish, then it's go back. You want editing the combination, uh, you, if this you want to edit in, the all pop up. And then this you you enter the save the data in this case combination ratio is one to one thousand and uh, so if you add the drug one this is drug two and total will automatically pop up or you can put the total drug one and drug two automatically pop up because they know the ratio here already and uh, you can edit when you did something wrong this uh, the same way and you finish it go back okay let's come to here okay so so now you you can save for your uh, let's let's generate the report computer all the data single drug a drug one drug two and combination the data are all there and you click generate report and it, you, sometimes you have more than two drugs, you have three drugs, four drugs, for example. Or you, or you, you click the drug one and drug two, you say, okay. And combination is this. Sometimes you have different other combinations, you can also click, but here we have only one. So we say, okay. And they will have option to select what you want to print out in report. For example, I want log FACA plot also, and I want to log FADRI plot also. Polygonogram I cannot click because of for more than two drugs, three drugs, four drugs. So it's not applied, so I don't click. And they say, they generate, I say, okay. Now it, it takes one second, generate entire report. So, so this the uh, actual printout look like, uh, this title, date, and the file name, the, the description, drug one, drug two, and mixture, and you have eight data points, dose and effect, and uh, when you enter dose and effect, it tell you how many data points, and also it gives you three parameters, M, DM, and R. M is a kinetic order, in other words, it's a, it, in my median effect equation, it means uh, uh, the shape of those fat curve is sigmoidal or hyperbolic or uh, flat or what I tell you the shape. The DM is uh, IC50 or ED50, it's a median effect concentration and it tells the potency. R is linear correlation coefficient 
of the median effect plot, it tells you, is your data really fit to the theory? It applied to mass action law or not? In this case, 0.99, almost one, almost perfect data. So it tells you three different things, the shape of those fat curve, the potency of the compound, and how good are your data. If lousy data, you may got 0.9, 0.85. If lousy data, you really have reservation on, on your result and interpretation. Uh, if data no good, the conclusion should be no good. So this is uh, drug one. So drug two also, the dose fake curve for drug two, dose effect and parameter and combination is a constant ratio combination one to 1,000. This mixture to computer, it, it doesn't matter is a mixture or how you combine it, it just take your data and uh, actually this mixture can be as considered as a third drug. You know it's a mixture, but it can be considered as a third drug. Also calculate MDMR value and the computer automatically generate those fat curves automatically scale with proper scale. All this uh, curve can be linearized into straight line by my so-called median effect plot, which is used uh, widely. It linearized curve into straight line. The intercept, x-intercept is a log dm, median effect. So you can calculate from this plot, it calculate dm value the slope of this line is the m value, the shape of those fake curve. When it's steep, it's sigmoidal curve. If uh, if shallower, it's a it's a hyperbolic curve. For example, it tells you the shape of those fake curve. And fitting all these parameter into my equation, Joe Tarare equation, it calculate combination index, which tell you how much is synergism or antagonism or additive effect. Here at the, is the computer simulation from 5% inhibition to 97% inhibition all across what's the CI value. The CI value if equal 1 is additive, smaller than 1 is synergism, greater than 1 is antagonism. In this case, you can see at very low concentration, you've got antagonism and then synergism above 45% uh, inhibition here. Uh, in cancer research, it's important to see that high effect level synergism or not, because it's not useful to treat patient to inhibit tumor 20-30%. But the next day, it grown back, actually. So you need to cure or treat the cancer, you need to inhibit or kill 95%, 99%, 99.99%. 99 so it's not equally important. So don't be alarmed by antagonism you see here. And uh, the computer also calculate, calculate actual combination data point. This is actual data point, it calculates CI value how much synergism, how much antagonism. In a graph, so-called F combination index plot automatically, at the low concentration, you got some antagonism. So this line is additive effect, below this line is synergism, above is antagonism. So it tells you entire spectrum, how much is synergism, how much antagonism. And sometimes uh, the scale go out of scale, and computer also automatically generate log CI value, so it's condensed uh, logarithmically, so it won't be the out of scale point you can still notice. Another thing I want to point out is, if you see 